everyone welcome back today I am going to do some window envelope pockets so I've got a couple of different recycled envelopes out that one came in the mail that's one that I have that's really old and I'm not using my paper dolls I'm actually using some real photos today you can see they've got the sticker on the back and they're from party studio this is a wedding photo of my aunt and uncle they're my grandparents on the end there I've got a photo of my mum and dad when they were engaged they were 1952 and there's a lovely photo of my mum taken in 1948 I have taken scans of these and then this hilarious one I'm not sure if um, these are going to be big enough to use it but this is my mum and two of her friends and they're dressed up as army blokes aren't they gorgeous in their slouch hats in 1946 that was taken so I'm not sure I think that's going to be a bit too uh, big to use in these envelopes and I've got out some of my Stamperia you know long paper I had yesterday and some quotes and also some old pages so this is an old page from Hobbies Weekly and this is an old school recipe book and this has happened naturally so I think that's what we're all wanting to achieve when we hand dye our papers but that is a natural one I'm starting with the Westpac one it's the longer of the two and I think that if I put this in here it's going to fit there you go and I'm going to um, maybe I'll put this on like a tag that you can pull out I'm not sure yet actually what I'd really like to do if I really am truthful about the thing is I'd like to get the date in now these are just handwritten by me so they're not going to be any good although that's got the party studios which is the um, it was a photography place in Cowra for many years it's I think it's closed down now but that's a that's an old one and this one here also has the party on the back so what I would like to do if possible is put this in like that and then be able to put a, um, a circle punch in the back of it so I can see that party studio and then I can write the date in there I wonder if that's doable all right I'll start by pulling the envelope apart I think so that will go in there or it'll be a tag that goes in there and I saw oh ages ago now I saw um, Susie from Shabby Soul she did this thing where she had a tag that went in and there was a picture on the front but there was also something on the back I think it was another picture that she had so she could punch that out she punched that out so there was a little window there that you could see through now my problem will be is that that piece of that thing there how am I going to get round this I've tested both my punches just with a piece of scrap paper and the small one seems to be the best size for what I want to do now just I have to work out the mechanics because that stamp is in the middle of the photo or you know too far in for my circle punch to punch but I'm thinking that if I take something like this or even this one would be better because this is super busy and if I punch that where I can and then that should be able to I should be able to put another piece on it so you can't really tell that it is um, it's there so I'm just gonna try this and see if I can get this to work now I need to give myself a little bit of leeway on the edge here but roughly where I need to punch it maybe there this is the front cover um, back cover of this piece so I'm not worried about using the other side and that will go down there like that so I've got that picture and then I'll cut a piece to put on down here and hopefully you're not going to see much of it now I understand that you can still get the negatives for the photos that were taken at this studio when it closed down the negatives were given to the historical society which is great they didn't just throw them away that's what I believe so if you come from a different town than I came from maybe your town also had a you know like the town photographer 
and that happened with your stuff I'm not sure but certainly happened in my place where I grew up now I just wanted to then rough cut this through here because I have to decide do I want that pulling out probably coming out this side so I'm going to have that in the book like that and you'll be able to pull this out like that so I know now where I have to cut it down and then this piece I need some sort of a handle and that's going to go there and so I need some sort of a pull tab and that's probably I'll leave that size for now while I work the rest of it out now with this edge here I'm just laying down a bit more of this same paper that's a straight edge and that's a straight edge from the book so I'm going to join those two together and hopefully you're not going to see much of that I don't think you are the other thing I want to write in here if I can find a decent pencil is the year I might have to sharpen my pencil a little bit or find one that's better sharpened this one this will do Now obviously for two reasons one because I don't want to show that and also because this piece is not joined I need to put something here and then create some sort of tab now I just found this one and I think I'm going to put it here if it's wide enough which I think it will be and long enough and it's almost perfect it says we all have our time machines they're called memories and that's probably a perfect thing to put alongside this photo so I've cut the top straight and I'll line it up with the top here so that um, I know that that's straight and then I can trim the bottom now I don't need this envelope to be as long as what it is I probably only need it to come to about there I want to be able to get this in and out quite successfully I don't want to have to you know really push to get it in and out but I'm thinking if I cut that down to there that that's probably the good sort of size I'm looking for so I'll probably get some of this this is just some old um, paper from a book it's actually one of the Dutch books that I had I've still got some of them but most of them I haven't I've used or they've gone to different homes I'm going to keep this strip though I like this rough edge on here isn't that gorgeous so all the, all the um, paper joins at the spine and then probably in the center so I do actually want to cover the inside because when you take the picture out you're going to see that inside so you're going to have your thing in there and when you take it out you'll see that so I don't want the plain envelope in there which is why I'll take the time to cover the inside and I'll just use the rest of that paper that I've got there so I've put some book page down on here so I've if I decide that I want to stick that into my journal it's not a problem I haven't used anything other than a bit of book page I've got the nice inside so when this comes out you'll be able to see it but I want to do this now I probably will do this edge here also because it's ripped so I do need to put something down on here I'm wondering if I can make a piece of this work again this is the front cover of this um, paper little paper pad thing that I bought from Stamperia so when that goes down that's the only bit you're going to see and I'm thinking because of that although I do have the tab so I don't need although I think it'll be much easier if I have sort of the um, notch here that I can get this in quite easily otherwise it'll be a bit of a pain to try and get it into the actual envelope so let's measure the halfway point and now I'll use my bigger circle punch to notch that out so about there and because I've got the paper behind it it notched really easily if it was just the envelope it would have been hard to punch through but because it's the paper it's not 
now I've sort of got a starting point to put this in. Can you see that? That's why I wanted that notch there. And then this can now slide in, there you go, like that. I think that's quite good, I don't mind that. I'm wondering if I could need to put something more around it. Just grab some of this and see what I've got. Do you think the balloon needs to be up the top? Maybe I'll put the balloon there. And then the tag, possibly I need something else now I've done that bit. I know I've already got a clock there on the tag, but I still think that maybe that, that will look okay. Just try and position this so it looks good. Quite like that balloon up there. And put the clock down here maybe. Might ditch the tag. I'm thinking two balloons. Like the red balloon and the... Um, Maybe the red balloon underneath and the blue balloon there. And then the clock down the bottom. I quite like that composition. Okay, so that's the, um, that's the envelope. And then it can just pull out and then turn it over and you get that on the back to show what it is and where it came from. It's the original party stamp, which is lovely. And that one is destined for one of my personal journals just because it's personal to me. So I hope you enjoyed that and that, that encourages you to perhaps use some of your old photos if you have any. I'm very lucky I have plenty of photos of my mum and dad when they were little, or little, when they were young. <laughs> so 1948, she was 20 then. She was born in 28, so she was 20. So I'm very lucky. I've got a few when she was little. I've even got one when she was a little baby and same for my dad, so... I know how lucky I am, but it's just a different way to use your photos and preserve them and have them in your journals. So in later years, when people look through your things, then, you know, they might go, oh, look, that's, you know, that's grandma or great grandma and grandmother, as she was known. And um, that will be wonderful, I think. So there you go. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Deborah. Cheers.